welcome to Kudio Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this is a video series about how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. Hi, and welcome to Kudio Sound. In this video, we'll be checking out the WISE music system. We'll be checking out how to use the WISE music system to trigger events and create a random event trigger. Haven't you always, when you've been working, sometimes been wondering what it would be like if you could actually control logic pieces in WISE instead of having to do so in code, or randomize other things instead of just randomizing a random container? What if you could randomize an actual event so that one event would trigger maybe set amount of random events? You can do so by adding a music piece. If you go into your music system and create a music segment that plays here, let's call it the random event trigger for jump. Let's do that. In this random event here, we can create a number of tracks. Let's call it, this is random event one, two, three, four, and five. Now, what if you have one event over here that normally comes in and normally just asks for, let's say, play the jump sound, but you want this to randomize whatever you want. So we will create an event here that says play random event. Let's just call it that. Random event will trigger this random event jump trigger. Over here, we will also be needing random event 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In your music system here, we now have these five tracks. They will play at the same time, but you can drag and drop events in just if you want. So whenever we press play on our music system and we reach this point in the timeline, it'll play this random event. Doot. There we go. Now it triggers this. We don't necessarily want that to be playing on all five tracks. No, we want this one here to be a random container. Random, and we want it to have five subtracks. And delete these other tracks. Now, if we place in our random system over here, create these events here, random event one, random event two, random event three, and four, and five. Think about it. If we press play now, it'll play one of these events in random. And if we play this random event up here, let's try and link it here so that we can actually see it. If we go into our music system here, if we press play on this random event, it will play this music system. This means that we have this one event that comes in, which simply asks the music system to randomize between other events. Each of these events can have multiple actions that you want. Say you want this one to play the jump sound, but you also want this one down here to play the jump sound and something else, and you want some events to change and so on. You can even use this to create sort of logic pieces so that if you're randomizing between certain tracks, you can use these event to set a certain state so that if you know that it's baseline version one that has just played, you want to make sure that it's baseline version three that comes right after it. Then you create an event, set the state to version three, and then you can control it like that. We can even create an actual audible example out of this. I've taken these debug numbers here that we're going to be dragging in. We're just going to add them to our main music switch like this. What these tracks are is one, two, three, two, and that's how these sound. Now, what if we want our random event over here, the random event to play debug number one and the random event two to play this one here. So now these events will play. One, one, four. Now, because we have this one random event up here that triggers this entire music system over here, this random event trigger here, if we press play, you will notice that it plays randomized one of these events and it'll play one of these events. That means it'll play one of the randomized numbers that we have. One, three, 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 four, three, one, one, three. The randomized sequence is, of course, also random, so you might get duplicates out of this. But in this way, you have one event that triggers the randomized one to five events. And that's how you create a random event generator from the music system.
Thank you for watching this Kujo Sound video on how to do AAA size projects in Wise. If you like this video, why not hit the thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel and all the time that I take off to create all this content, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you again in another video or check out some of the other videos on the channel. It's a lot of game audio stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.